So I ask you a simple question. Suppose in 12 minutes you run 19 kilometers. What will be your speed per hour? Simple question. Tell me, Shivani, what was the best day of your life? What was the worst day of your life? Anyway, tell me what is I to you two? My forecast about her is this girl will pass us this week. You can now get a free SSB course under the guidance of Major General Bhakuni at SSB Short Short Academy if you attend any of our written courses for NDA, CDS, or FCAT. Attend 4-5 to five lectures daily and prepare with study material, mentor support, weekly feedback, mock tests and guidance by officers in our lush green 28-acre military campus. Call us now on 725-930-7111 for queries and registrations. Now let's get back to the video. Now I am imagining myself, I am sitting in the SSB. I am interviewing her exactly the way I would have interviewed her in the SSB. That's the beauty, guys. I'm now in the SSB. And the girl should also think she's in the SSB. Is that understood? Good morning, sir. Good morning, Shivani. How are you? I'm good, sir. Thank you. Good. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. So, Shivani, I can see you are from Dharwar. Yes, sir. Tell me. Two historical facts about Dharwad. First of all, Dharwad is a very historical place. Starting from the 12th century, it was being ruled by the Vijayanagara dynasty. Later on... Okay, tell me, simply, from when to when Vijayanagara dynasty ruled and who defeated them? So, it was ruled from 12th century to 14th century. Uh, the names exactly I don't know. But later on in the 19th century, it was taken about by the Bombay presidency. Dharwad was took over by the Bombay presidency and the Vijayanagara kingdom itself built a fort in Dharwad which is still now being recognized and is kept as a historical place. Who was the most famous king of Vijayanagara Bha? Uh, sorry sir, I don't know. Okay, have you heard the name of Krishna Dev Rai? Yes sir. See this. And he didn't rule in 14th century, he ruled in 15th century, somewhere, in fact, 16th century. Somewhere, I also don't remember exactly, somewhere from 1515 to about 1545 or so. And there was a most famous battle in 1567. And then the three southern powerful states defeated together the Vijayanagar Empire. Okay. okay? Yes, and that famous treaty thereafter was signed and then the Mughals again ruled the Southern Empire. Yes. Anyway, I can see you have been to the SSP. Yes, sir. Tell me, why do you think you did not make it? Sorry. Give me four reasons. And also tell me, how do you think you are preparing for your next SSB? Go ahead. So, I had been for the Army SSCW Tech Entry 32 last month in 12th of May. So, there I was screened out. Majorly, what I felt was my weakness was in discussion part. So, I didn't participate well. So, maybe in the next attempt, I have to do it well, discuss well and put out my points forward. So, the aptitude was very well. It was much easier for me. So only the thing which I failed was in discussion part. Also, I put forward my story very well. The narration was good. So only the narration, uh, discussion part went on dif bit difficult for me. So if I want to improvise on my discussion part, then I have to start discussing with my peer friends here. So that may be, he that may be helpful for me. So the next entry I have for the Navy, Naval entry, Naval SSE tech technical entry. So wherein, again, I have to strengthen my communication skills the moreover i have to strengthen my knowledge about the topics about the general awareness now tell me you said you are going for a naval entry yes sir a simple question 
tell me the rank structure of the naval officers from top downwards. Okay. First is the admiral of the fleet, then is the admiral, then is the rear and the wise admiral, captain, lieutenant commander, command, commander, lieutenant commander, lieutenant and the sub-lieutenant. You are getting confused, you are mixing up. It is not admiral, it is admiral first. Admiral. Now tell me properly the rank structure from top downwards. Admiral. Saying one rank at a time because you mix them, them up. You Ad don't know who's senior, vice admiral or rear admiral. Admiral of the fleet, vice admiral, rear admiral, captain, commander. My God, you left the virtually the naval chief. Naval chief, captain. He is admiral. Admiral. And you left commodore. So you are going for a naval entry. See how confused you are about the rank structure itself. Anyway, you have been to the army entry. Tell me, what is the equivalent rank of commander in the army and in the air force? Sorry. Okay, okay. It doesn't matter. Tell me. One hero of the Navy, Indian Navy. So, uh, the first woman pilot, Shivangi Singh, of the, of the Indian Navy. What was her name? Shivangi Singh. Shivani Singh. When Shivangi. Huh? Shivangi Singh. Shivangi Singh. Yes. So, she is the hero. Don't you think the Navy has produced so many wars they have fought, they couldn't produce a hero? They have produced, sir. So? Tell me one hero. You simply tell me how many wars India has fought since independence. If possible, tell me one hero of each. If otherwise, no problem. Tell me how many wars India has fought since independence and when all? When all? Firstly, starting with the first war of independence, like 1947, then 1971. After that, it's uh, 1999 Kargil Wall. Yeah. Don't you know about the 62 war, 65 war? And 1971 war at least. Yeah. I so many people know. At least tell me one hero of Kargil war. I'll surely get to know it, sir. Okay. This is, these are the very simple questions I'm asking you. Okay. Tell me what is the difference between a torpedo and a frigate. Tell me how many class of ships the Navy has. Tell me which is the biggest ship of Indian Navy and when it was commissioned. The biggest ship is INS Vikrant. I don't you have know. INS Vikrant is still the biggest one. Is it in service? No. When it was brought back again in the service. Have you heard of INS Vikramadit? Yes, sir. Okay, I will ask you the simplest question. Tell me how many commands the Navy has and where are these commands located? Uh, when is your Navy SSB? It's in the month of August. Thank God you have still time. Okay? Okay, now tell me about your educational journey right from 10th class onwards. Have you done in your academics and have you done in your extracurricular activities and sports? Tell me what was your favorite subject in 12th class? What did you choose for your graduation and why did you choose that? Tell me some of your best friends. What kind of friends you like? What kind of friends you don't like? Tell me who was the most inspiring teacher in your life. And also tell me, suppose armed forces is not in your luck. What is your alternate career option and why? Yeah. So starting from my education, I completed my 10th in Dharwad from Om English Medium High School with a percentage of 91.36 and I stood second to school. And next, I moved on to Alvas PU College and completed my PUC second year with a percentage of 92% and also got 100 and 100 in math subject. Next, I gave my 
Karnataka CET and got a good ranking of 10,000 and got a seat in Gokta Institute of Technology, Belgavi for engineering in the Department of Communi Electronics and Communication Engineering. <coughs> so I completed it with 8.25 CGPA. Later, I got uh, I got a good company of Bosch Global Software Company. So I worked there for five months. How was So I worked in Bosch for five months. But later, I realized that I am leaving off my dreams and just going with the flow. So for that, I resigned my Bosch company and I just left, I started pursuing my dreams, that is joining the armed forces. So in the, uh, so mainly the, uh, the most favorite subject of mine from schooling or education or in my degree, it is mathematics. And the favorite subject uh, teacher is also Manjunath sir from my PU college. So he was a math sir. So because of him, I am something, I can do something in my mathematics. And because of him, I have scored 100 and 100 in maths in few board exams. Next, moving on to my uh, cultural activities or co-curricular activities. I have participated in many sports, many cultural activities. Starting from sports, I, I took part in throw ball, disc throw, then volleyball. Also, a uh, women's cricket team. So women's cricket team, I played it in my company level. There, I, everywhere I managed to handle my team, I also lead my team in a very good way. Then moving on to cultural activities, I took part, mainly I'm a Bharatnatyam dancer. So along with dancing, the, if I talk about my hobbies, then dancing is my hobby, trekking, gymming, of course gardening, and reading books is the major hobby which I follow. Then, yeah. Uh, so moving on to my, uh, still talking about my career, like why I choose armed forces. Mainly, first thing is the respect. It is a very respectable service. Secondly, I am always, uh, I've been an NCC cadet. So I joined NCC in my ninth standard. So when the first time I wore NCC uniform, I had decided that I'll be an officer. Okay. Let me ask you a very simple question. Suppose in 12 minutes, you are also a runner. You take part in the running, 4 mm -hmm. into 100 meters run. Suppose you run 19 kilometers in 12 minutes. What will be your speed per hour? Fine. 19.12 kilometers per minute. 12, uh, so one point, approximately 1.3. Now, think, Shivani, in 12 minutes you are running 1900, 19 kilometers. kilometers, and in one hour you will run only 1.5 kilometer. This is a question. You are getting nervous. So I ask you a simple question. Suppose in 12 minutes you run 19 kilometers. What will be your speed per hour? 19.12. Speed is equal to distance upon time. 19.12. So 12, 12 ones are. So 450 kilometer per sec minute. Kilometer per second. This is the test of your reasoning ability and effective intelligence. If you don't use your common sense, you will not be able to tell you. Are bhaiya, 12 minute you run 19 kilometers. 12 punche? 12 fives are? 60. 19 fives are? That is all. How much is 19 fives are? 95. That is the answer. Otherwise, simple you do maths in your mind. 12 kilometers, 12 minutes, 19. One minute, 19 by 12 into 60. 95. You are going in circles, calculating seconds, minutes. It is more of a test of your common sense. Doesn't matter. Relax. Now tell me, you've been part of the NCC, you served for one year. Tell me, describe me the NCC flag. So I joined NCC in my ninth standard as a, from an army wing. So it was just a one-year course and I completed a certificate being a cadet. So there, NCC was a very rare experience for me. 
Firstly, I learned about the self-discipline. Uh, listen to my question properly and I would request you to be to the point. I just asked you to describe the NCC flag. How does the NCC flag look like? You don't blue. remember? I know it, it sir. Then tell me. It's not able to describe it. How many colors it has? Blue and blue and red. So blue black and red too. It has an army color red. Red. It has a navy blue color for navy. Yes, it sir. has an blue color for the air force. Yes, Sky blue, navy blue, and <laughs> red. And there is something more in that. How many directorates the NCC has? There are 17 directorates. How many schools, training schools the NCC has? There are two, one in Galwar and one in Kamti. You should know all this. What is the motto of the NCC? Unity and discipline. Or say louder. Unity and discipline. You are right there. Okay. Now tell me, you have done your BTEC and electronics and communication. Yes. Tell me simply, what is the difference between frequency modulation and amplitude modulation? Frequency in frequency modulation, the, the frequency is measured in uh, hertz. So there the uh, modulation of the frequency takes place whereas in amplitude modulation uh, majorly it's a modulation of uh, voice modulation takes place. Yeah. I'm waiting. You're totally off the mark. Can you give, give me an example of frequency modulation? An example of Amplitude modulation, any equipment, anything which is based on this. Amplitude modulation happens in the amplifiers mainly. And frequency modulation in the sound systems. Wherein, uh, or we can say radios. Best example is radio wherein we change the frequency of the signals uh, coming from the radio station. And amplitude modulation of course happens in the amplifiers. Okay. Okay. Now, Siwani. Tell me another simple question. You have written Bharat Natyam as your hobby. Tell me, what are your hobbies and pastime activities? Tell me, how do you pass your spare time, Sundays and holidays? Tell me, uh, if I simply ask you, how many books you have read? Because reading also, you told me, is your hobby. And tell me the best book you read and what two lessons you learned from that book. Okay? Yes. Yeah. So starting from Bharatnatyam dance, I did it in my schooling. So before 10th, I completed two exams in Bharatnatyam and got a Gandharva certificate also. Next, moving on to my uh, pastime activities, I do gardening a lot. And cooking is my hobby, of course. And playing badminton is also a hobby. But apart from that, trekking is a major hobby which I follow. So I've been to many treks in Pune, Pune uh, region, in Maharashtra. And talking about more about my reading books is also the major hobby. So reading books, I read many fictional books or motivational books, I could say. My, one of my favorite book is You, Will, you Can Win, written by Shiv Khera. So that book, what motivated me to read that book is uh, he has re clearly written how to succeed in life. What are the two mantras, that is the patience and the determination. So those were the two lessons which I learned from that book and I have read it almost two to three times. So if I could have time also now, I have bought it with myself, I'll read it once again. And next moving to uh, talking about other cultural or uh, other hobbies, then, uh, as I said about trekking, so trekking, uh, I've completed two treks, one of the highest peak in Maharashtra, that is the Kalsubai peak of 5,000 feet. Next is the Ratangar uh, trekking. Yes, these are the, uh, my ho pastime hobbies which I follow. Okay. 
tell me what is the difference between Bharatnatyam and Kuchipudi? Bharatnatyam is majorly, it is a f form of expressing your whole uh, body facial expression only through face. So the whole body gets uh, uh, concentrated on the facial expressions. But in Kuchipudi, there are heavy steps. Of course, in Bharatnatyam, there are heavy steps. I don't, uh, I don't say there are no heavy steps. But in Kuchipudi, your, your body is very erect. And, but in Bharatnatyam, you, you are so flexible, you become so flexible that uh, you are able to do any form of dance if you learn Bharatnatyam, as uh, it is my perception. So as when I learned Bharatnatyam, I could do any form of dance. It may be Western, it may be uh, solo or any, yes. Tell me, what is in common with Kathak? What is the common thing between Kathak and Bharatnatyam? I don't know much about Kathak, sir. Kathak is a dance yeah, it is a for, of which form and in which area? Uh, okay, so, doesn't matter. Now, tell me another simple question about your family. Tell me how many members are in your family, who all are there? Who is your role model in the family and why? Tell me two qualities your father likes in you and two qualities he wants you to improve upon. And also tell me one quality which you would like to take from your mother and one quality you would like to improve in her. Yeah. So I have got a nuclear family of four members, my father, my mother, my elder brother and myself. So my father is a tax consultant, my mom is a principal of a school and my brother is a civil engineer working in Chennai Metro. So my father and my mother both are the pillars of my life. If I had to take, uh, if my father really is proud of me, then it is because of my confidence, it is because of my determination to take up a work and complete it and he really is very proud of me and he always tells it in front of everyone that I am proud of my daughter to have such a daughter like this and because I have proved him very very right in all my uh, steps of my life it may be in de uh, deciding of what career should I choose or in uh, helping him in his in his personal life also and also helping the family and coming to my mother she is a real admiration. If I'm uh, if I'm sitting in front of you, sir, then it is this is because of my mother, because she motivated me a lot. Because uh, and uh, none of my uh, real close relate uh, family members are into the armed forces. But yes, I must say one of my blood relation. Uh, my grand uncle was into the army. He retired as a brigadier uh, from the Indian Army itself, a uh, brigadier Jai Vibhav Kannur. So he is my mother's mama. So she used to always tell me about his stories. Uh, he he actually led the Rajputana rifles as a commandant. So he used to always uh, she used to always tell him about his story, like how he used to uh, go out and um, so she used to tell him about uh, about his motivation. So keep him as a motivation, keep him as a role model, and see how he's uh, succeeded in his life. So if I could, uh, I must say that my mother is the real role model for me. And of course, talking about my brother, he has always supported me wherever or whichever in steps of my life. And uh, I don't have any uh, comments about correcting my mother because she is the best. And of course, I have to learn many things from her. Yet, there are many things to learn from her. Okay, tell me about your uncle who is your inspiration as far as the army is concerned. He was commandant of Rasputana Rifle Center. Tell me when he was the commandant. Also, tell me where is the Rasputana Rifle Center? So he is retired Brigadier Jai Vibhav Kannur. So he was the commandant, ex-NDA commandant in, for the Rajputana Rifles. And also he retired as the president of the SSB Bangalore board in 2008-9. Uh, I don't know much about the Rajputana Rifles, but uh, yes, I have taken coaching uh, from him for the SSB last time. And right now he, he is in, uh, settled in Pune. Okay. Tell me at least which battalion he was from. Uh, 
don't ask him this time. He has given you training, you don't know his battalion. And you don't know where the Rasputana center is. It is in Delhi. It's a, such a famous yeah. center. Yes, so. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, now my next question is very simple question. Now tell me, who's your role model other than your family member and why? member if you have to consider other than family member then yes it is one of my teacher from my pew college itself as i said my maths teacher manjunath sir he not only taught me mathematics or not only uh, uh, made me uh, made a study mathematics in a whole lot of hundred students he why he stood as an inspiration was uh, his sheer determination one point if i could take him from him and he always motivated us, like uh, not only in uh, scoring good marks or something, he used to always say, marks doesn't matter, but your personality matters. So he used to always, uh, when I, I used to see him, like very fit, very fit personality, uh, he used to be very erect. Tell me, why Shivangi is not your role model? Why Manjunath is your role model? Because I've seen him live. He, he was uh, literally present in front of me live. If given and a choice from President Kalam, Swami Vivekanand, or Field Marshal Maniksha, and your uncle Pannu, and this girl Shivangi, and Manjuna, whom will you select as your role model if given a choice? And why? Then I would select my uh, uncle Brigadier Jaivaba Kannur. So why didn't you take his name before? Because I have not interacted much with him, sir. Just uh, one month. Okay, you interacted only one month with him. Yes. Okay. Okay, now tell me another simple question. Tell me, Shivani, what was the best day of your life? What was the worst day of your life? Uh, starting, uh, let me tell the worst part of my life. Uh, it was the part when I have to take a decision of leaving my career in Bosch and focusing on armed forces. It was a really tough time for me to really decide whether I have to leave or if I've decided to leave, then how should I tell it to my parents? That was the worst part. But the very good part was in the same, uh, same situation because my parents handled it very well. I straight away said that I'm not interested in IT field. I'm going to resign and I'm going to join the armed forces. So they, they didn't ask me why, but they said, are you sure about it? And I said, yes. So without a second thought, they said, you resign, you go on, you go on, achieve your dreams. So the both best and the worst part of my life recently is this. Okay. Okay. Tell me now, what are your three strengths and three weaknesses as per your estimate? Talking about my strength, then it is the confidence. Secondly, I am responsible. It may be in any aspect, responsible from the family or responsible towards my friends. Thirdly, it is the loyalty and the trustfulness. So these three are my real strengths. And if I could st uh, speak about my weaknesses, then of course, uh, getting some more knowledge, general awareness knowledge is what I am focusing right now. Uh, another weakness is, uh, not I could not say it as a weakness, but I'm trying to be more fit by gymming and all that is, uh, I'm coping up with my fitness. Yes. Okay. If you think you are confident, then why you get confused? Why you are so unsure of yourself? Tell me. It's not about being unsure, but hmm. uh, yes, it, uh, it made me feel a bit nervous uh, because uh, it, lately I've never had such public speaking like in front of so many people. Uh, I've given many debates also, but it was in school. So I've lost that touch and uh, Yes, even when I, I didn't attend the SSB interview, the real interview, I was screened out. So, uh, maybe in the midst of not of experience. Tell me, why are you so self-conscious? I'm not self-conscious, only nervousness is uh, becoming, putting me down, I could say. Anyway, you say confidence is a quality, confidence and nervousness do not go hand in hand. They are I just the opposite. So. Don't you think you need to improve your confidence? Yes, I need to. Okay. Now tell me, 
another simple question tell me do you consider yourself a leader if yes because i can make out by your body language you really consider yourself a leader but i want to know why do you consider yourself a leader give me three reasons uh, in fact i would like to change the sentence as being a leader i would like to lead a team a teamwork is majorly important for me being a leader uh, anyone can become a leader or uh, give commands or something but taking a team leading a team uh, making them uh, working with them is real what i deserve so i have ma- handled many uh, teamwork activities in right from my schooling till the btech engineering so wherever i have handled i have handled it very well uh, if i would mention few of them then i, wa- I was the student secretary in my engineering college also i was the safety in charge my girl safety in charge in the alvas pu college hostel then thirdly i was a, a treasurer for the engineering uh, my ins- in my batch so when i have handled such situations then i must say then i have a good quality of leading a team yes mm-hmm. okay now tell me another simple question do you have a boyfriend no sir why you avoid boys I don't avoid boys. Then you mean boys avoid you? No. But there has I'm, to be some reason you don't you have friends among the boys? I will, would like to mention it that I have more boy uh, boy friends than the girl friends. I am always with everyone. So majorly uh, always my friends tease me that you have more uh, boy contacts in your phone rather than girl contacts. Yes because I i have the capability of adjusting adaptable uh, with every uh, age group also also with boys also with girls but coming to boyfriend specifically like one choosing one as a boyfriend then i think this is not the right time to think about life partner and all or boyfriend and all so setting up a career is the first main aim then let's uh, see good it. that's a good answer you your, your priorities seem to be very clear in your mind now tell me another simple question If I say Shivani, you have to describe yourself in four sentences. How will you describe yourself in four sentences? Firstly, uh, it's the confidence which I've been carrying or right from my first standard. If I would like to mention an instance, I've been anchoring on the stage in the school gatherings that boost up my uh, stage fear. I lost the stage fear. then secondly is the responsible responsible citizen it may be being a citizen or being a responsible family member helping everyone any age group so if my family members need me then i am anywhere available for them thirdly is involving myself in many uh, social activities for example blood donation itself i have been a frequent six months blood blood donor so right from my 2018 when i have been eligible as a blood donor i have uh, donated five times a blood and now also if i get chance i will do it for any of them and fourth thing if i would describe myself is the loyalty or the the trustfulness what my friends keep on me so i am very trustworthy none of my friends or we have lost friendship till now so trustworthiness responsible confident and social adaptability are the four reasons why i am here okay who inspired you for this blood donation is a self inspiration so how can it be if you are not exposed to anything it has to be learned from somewhere it can't just happen because uh, uh if you are going a bit personal and i lost a few family members which were very close to, who were very close to me so at that time there was a rush uh, for uh, we didn't get blood in the hospital tell me yes what is red cross a uh, red cross is a institute with uh, there's a red blood blank center and all the uh, collection of blood takes place and also circulation red anyway, cross institute. you never heard of it you never been involved or do you have some idea about them i never get, got a chance of involved getting involved in red cross okay okay tell me what is this taiwan problem Uh, okay tell me what is this tibet problem okay 
anyway tell me a very simple question why do you think turkey was in the news which are the neighboring countries of turkey and also tell me what is the capital of turkey Uzbekistan Turkey have you seen turkey where is it you never heard about it it was in the headlines for I the past 6 to 8 months it is continuously in the headline who is the president of turkey anyway tell me what is i2 u2 i2 to get to know about it you too you don't know this have you heard about it i did hear about it but uh, really i'll get more knowledge about it okay tell me uh, another simple question which are the neighboring states of chatisgarh and what is yeah. the capital of chatisgarh and from which state it was carved out and when oh uh, bihar really getting confused what is the capital of bihar chatisgarh shivani if i say you are a bit casual and you do not go into the details what will be your comments on this i need to really uh, focus on the i need to really focus on the general knowledge part of course that i mentioned my weakness of itself i am doing a lot in okay shivani i have asked you lots of questions tell me what one question you would like like to ask from me i have no questions you would not like to ask me any question no no okay shivani okay guys you saw the interview Yes. So this is how the interview takes place. We also have a great opportunity for students who are now going to 11th or 12th class next year. We have something called the foundation course in which students can join us in 11th class or the 12th class. For the foundation course students we have options of the CBSE board as well as the state board and along with their school education we also prepare them with evening classes for the NDA exam apart from that they also get to live in a total army focused environment in a 28 acre lush green campus with proper military obstacles and you'll also get the support and guidance from senior military officers and experienced educators so if any of the parents are watching this This video and if you feel interested in this particular course feel free to reach out to us if you live in bangalore or anywhere close by you can also come over and visit our campus now guys look at this here we go see this firstly i have assessed all her 15 of her like qualities in that i will give her a grade in ssb we give you ticks and marks based on that i will give her the grade we call that there in ssb tick 5 tick 6 tick 7 tick 8 here i will call them clear means she is absolutely clear like a tick 5 the second grade is called average means she has managed to pass but lot of scope for improvement 90 plus third grade is called borderline she has failed but she is in the border means gba type just below average type and the fourth grade is fail which is ba type below 66 out of 225 are you getting me yes sir so four grades clear yes sir average average means you have managed to pass but scope for improvement borderline fail lot of scope for improvement fail very very much improvement required are you getting me see her grading factor 1 which is the qualities of your head which has got four qualities her gradings are affective intelligence she is average she is pass but scope for improvement reasoning ability she is borderline she has failed but she is in the border organizing ability she is clear 
she is a good organizer you can ask her later we know this she is a good organizer you give her a task she will organize it very well even she does a lot of things for her home also for otherwise she has taken part in lot of this thing i can tell you she knows it very well power of expression was reasonably good but today she came under pressure okay also her body language needs improvement also she got nervous also she was a bit anxious and confused therefore the power of expression went down but yet i have passed her because originally she possessed a good power of expression i know that so she is managed to pass but scope for improvement factor 2 qualities of heart she is a good hearted girl very good hearted girl she is a simple honest girl she is she will do wonders wherever she goes she is a good human being which is a very important fact if yahan par aap gadbad karte ho na fir improvement hona bada mushkil hota hai but isme galti nahi hai iski she is very helpful Let's look at this first quality in that is socially adaptable she is very socially adaptable no problem second is cooperation she is very good in giving cooperation as well as taking cooperation third is sense of responsibility very good so factor 2 is absolutely clear absolutely clear is that understood factor 3 which is called the qualities of your guts or social effectiveness initiative she has managed to pass she has got average confidence oh my god she calls herself very confident but she tends to be anxious nervous tense confused so but yet i have passed her with average grading are you getting me third speed of decision look at that it's reasonably okay except the sometimes she become unsure of herself sometimes a bit confused because of nervousness and anxiety she is pass still with average grade fourth is ability to influence the group see her knowledge part both army at etc how the hell she will create an impact on anyone poor knowledge led her to fail in this she got borderline still okay liveliness she is reasonably lively i will pass her with average grade factor 4 qualities of your limbs your dynamism determination clear courage average she is passed with average grade fitness she is reasonably fit not very fit i think she will be able to do as of now five to five obstacles and gradually by the time she finishes seven to eight maybe so she should test she is not that fit as she considered herself from my assessment but she has passed with average grade overall this girl has got 86 marks out of 225 and out of 100 she got 46 marks she still has to improve she's failed by 4 marks see this out of 100 46 out of 225 86 is that understood so yes, she is there and let me tell you my forecast about her my forecast about her is this girl will pass us this week <laughs> now we would like some comments from you about this interview so i'm really uh, louder i feel really lucky to uh, be interviewed personally by jandu pakuni sir and when he said like uh, when yesterday like uh, sir said that whoever is being interviewed is i had a hundred chances of getting through so when i had uh, like i got a zeal like let, let me do it what what says am i going to happen let me pass or marks doesn't matter for me but improvement yes i need to improve in this and as sir said she has shown me a mirror yes it he has shown me a mirror like where i am right now so still i have got time i have my next uh, ssb in august so i'm going to prepare and yes i am i assure you that i will clear this has been thank you very good now listen the commentary maine likha hai shuru mein smart girl reasonably confident fir likha hai but tends to come under pressure a bit nervous and anxious see this 
फिर लिखा है ए बिट माइल्ड एंड सॉफ्ट माइल्ड एंड सॉफ्ट सीजन लैकिंग बोल्डनेस एंड असर्टिवनेस लैकिंग बोल्डनेस इसीलिए स्टेज वन में फेल हुई है स्टेज वन क्यों फेल हुई है शी लैक्स बोल्डनेस एंड असर्टिवनेस शी वॉज नॉट वेरी कन्विंसिंग सी मैंने बोला ना शी गेट्स कन्फ्यूज ओके आर यू गेटिंग मी सी इज नॉट कन्विंसिंग देखो डिबेट ऊपर में भाग लिया है सी वॉज रीजनेबली कॉन्फिडेंट बट सी कूडन क्रिएट दैट इम्पैक्ट सी इज नॉट वेरी कन्विंसिंग एंड बोल्ड बोल्डनेस एज एज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू लाइक हर नॉलेज इज वेरी पुअर नॉट पुअर आने दो इज नॉ हर नॉलेज इज वेरी पुअर क्या है very poor both about the navy and about the general awareness ye aise knowledge se bahut gadbad ho jayega assessment mein abhi she has to really prepare very hard for it don't take it lightly this is the issue knowledge is very poor okay she was otherwise she is otherwise very intelligent girl very creative very dynamic very dedicated and determined you can ask her she is very dedicated hai determined hai. any task you give her she will do fullest of her you know whatever capabilities she has she will be doing it. okay which is a good sign okay she lacks to go into the details she doesn't go into the details okay because of that she lacks the knowledge tends to get confused and become unsure of herself again wahan par thoda confidence mein fir work karna hai agar knowledge achhi ho jayegi to confidence badhega uski knowledge weak hai to confidence aur weak ho jayega are you getting me yes sir yaad rakh lena hai uska link hai ek dusre se okay even if you a guy who has got a good knowledge uska confidence bhi theek ho jayega power of expression bhi theek ho jayega dekh lena aap okay okay she is highly responsible has good social adaptability she can mix up with any kind of people okay there is no doubt about it i will like very very helpful she is very honest very truthful let me tell you this very honest and very truthful okay and uh, she is actually a good leader she has the leadership qualities जिसको इन्हें थोड़ा सा एक्सपोजर नहीं मिला है अभी मिलेगा थोड़ा सा और अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिलेंगी